Overclockers, my name's Bryony and I'm here to tell you how to win yourself an incredible PC setup bundle, get Alan Wake 2 for free, watch this year's Game Awards, make the most of your AMD GPU and the Nvidia GPU that recently sold for over £15,000 and much more. If you're in the huge percentage of viewers that keep coming back but aren't subscribed, please do that now. It really helps us out. And now let's get into this week's episode of BIOS Update. Kicking off the gaming chapter is all the details on the highly anticipated Game Awards. Since its first event back in 2014, the Game Awards has seen total viewership increase year on year, and last year's show delivered a record-setting 103 million global live streams. That's more than the entire population of both the UK and Canada. 2023 has been an absolutely incredible year for new games, and there is plenty to celebrate. So mark your calendars for an epic show on December 7th. The categories are likely to be similar to those of previous years, and I reckon the nominees for Game of the Year will be something like Baldur's Gate 3, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Resident Evil 4, Starfield, Spider-Man 2, and Final Fantasy 16. with gamers at this year's Insomnia Gaming Festival listing similar titles, but make sure to let me know yours. Alongside the awards, there will be exclusive Game World premieres, new game announcements, musical performances from the live orchestra, and hopefully no stage storming gate crashes this year. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. You'll be able to tune in for free across more than 30 digital video platforms, including the big ones like Twitch, YouTube, Stream, X, Facebook, TikTok, and many more. Or if you're aiming to attend in person, public tickets to attend the Game Awards will be made available for purchase later this year. Our second gaming story this week is good news for Radeon RX 6000 series GPU owners who want to get a little bit more out of their gameplay. AMD has just released a new driver update that brings Fluid Motion Frames or AFMF technology to more of its graphics cards. AFMF is a feature that enhances the smoothness and quality of games by generating intermediate frames between the original ones. This boosts the FPS to reduce stuttering, tearing, and motion blur, resulting in an all-round better gaming experience. AFMF functions by incorporating frame generation technology into games that do not fully support FSR 3. Game developers do not actually need to provide specific support as it operates at the driver level. It can be enabled for any DirectX 11 and 12 titles such as Cyberpunk 2077 using the per app settings within AMD Adrenaline Edition software or automatically enabled using HyperRx or using the global graphics settings toggle for selected titles. For now, this is just a preview driver and not a final release, so AMD does know it may cause some issues or instability. However, it's still pretty cool and worth playing around with in your favorite titles. If you want to try the 23.3 driver, get it now on the AMD website. Kicking off the hardware chapter, are you a student that desperately needs a setup upgrade? Whether you're gaming in your downtime or typing out your latest assignment, we're giving you the chance to win the ultimate student setup in our free giveaway. This fantastic bundle of laptop, monitor, chair, and peripherals is worth over £1,500 to one lucky winner. You'll get a median Eraser Crawler E25 laptop, a powerful and portable gaming machine that features a 15.6 inch 144 Hz display, an AMD R5 5600H, 8 GB of RAM, a 512 GB SSD, and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card. 
There's a monitor from LG with 144 hertz refresh rate, 1080p resolution, one millisecond response time, and AMD FreeSync technology. A Ducky Daybreak 1.3 mechanical keyboard with Cherry Silent Red MX switches, RGB lighting, and PBT keycaps. An Endgame Gear XM1R mouse, which is a lightweight and ergonomic gaming mouse. Streamplify peripherals, including a 1080p cam, ring light 10, and USB hub deck 5 that will help you stay connected or even start streaming. And a Thunder X3 XTC mesh chair, ideal for hours spent at your desk. And to complete the setup, a couple of essentials with the Overclockers Mega Mat XXL mouse mat and the legendary Overclockers UK Elite Gaming Mug. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is visit the giveaway link, which I will pop in the description and follow the instructions. I wish you all the best of luck. Did you know a GPU recently sold for a whopping $17,000? Yet, a ROG Matrix RTX 4090 Platinum sporting Jensen Huang's signature was bid to the eye-watering amount in a charity auction to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. This dwarfs the $5,400 the limited edition Starfield 7900 XTX bundle recently sold for on eBay, and it sits amongst some of the world's most expensive GPUs, such as the NVIDIA A100 designed for AI data centers. Every Matrix card owner also receives an exclusive Asus Metaverse NFT, and of course, this GPU comes with the signature edition of the NFT. I'm not sure if it's actually worth anything now the NFT market hype seems to have completely died, but it is a unique idea nonetheless. Thankfully for us regular folk, the wonderful cooling technology inside the ROG Matrix can be had for a more reasonable price of £3,200, with stock available for next day delivery at Overclockers UK right now. It's been described as the most overkill and for good reason, with a whopping 2700MHz boost clock speed and enough cooling for even the most adventurous overclockers. The GPU die is kept cool via liquid metal thermal compound, a premium 360mm all-in-one cooler, and a stunning hollow metal frame design. This is much about aesthetics as it is performance. This has to be the supercar of graphics cards, and if you want to learn more, I'll make sure to share the link in the description. Kicking off the blog chapter with two stories from the Overclockers written content team. First up, NVIDIA's latest game bundle offers you a copy of the upcoming horror sequel, Alan Wake 2. All you need to do is purchase a qualifying NVIDIA RTX 40 series GPU or gaming laptop at Overclockers UK. Releasing on October 27th, it's the perfect game to play during the spooky season. Set in the picturesque town of Bright Falls, follow the story of FBI agent Sega Anderson and lost writer Alan Wake as they unravel the mysteries of a sudden string of ritualistic murders. Alan Wake 2 features cutting edge NVIDIA features such as ray tracing, DLSS 3.5, and NVIDIA Reflex. I am so much of a wuss when it comes to horror games. It all sounds a little too immersive and realistic for me. The trailer looks pretty terrifying. If you fancy a fright, this exclusive NVIDIA bundle is running until November 13th and the qualifying NVIDIA RTX 40 series products include an RTX 4090, 4080, 4070 Ti, or 4070 GPUs and laptops. If you want all of the info, head over to the Overclockers UK blog. Finishing off this week's episode of Bias Update is, of course, everyone's favorite, free games. Once again, the blog team has updated their regular roundup with all the freebies you can collect to bolster your gaming library this month. On the Epic Games Store, until the 19th, you can get the fast-paced pirate PvP game, Blazing Sails, where you create your own unique pirate ship and band together with other players to command your mighty vessel. Wow. <laughs> Additionally, there's the ultimate celebration of the decade-old original, The Q, an award-winning, brain-twisting first-person puzzler. There is also, of course, this month's 
crime games. And we've chosen to highlight titles such as 100 Days, Unsolved Case Murderous Script, Dexter Stardust, Adventures in Outer Space, and Shotgun King. They're all available for free until the 1st of November as long as you have an active subscription. There's also a bunch of free software etc mentioned in the blog so make sure to check it out if you're on the hunt for a bargain. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers BIOS Update. Like I said at the start, please remember to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and it means I can give you even more giveaways in the future. Just remember to enter this month's student setup giveaway. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you again in the next one.